Hi, I'm Siddharth Roy Kapoor and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. When you see um, a movie in India doing India business of something like a 500 crores or maybe like a 1000 crores, we've already reached 340. So when do you think that can possibly happen? Well, you just have don't have to go too far but to look at Bahubali. Mm. I mean, when you look at Bahubali, the first two parts are going to do, you know, business of more than 500 crores. We'll do five to 600 crores. Right. The, the first film itself has done the sort of business that it's done and that's tremendous. It's a Telugu film at the end of the day. Correct. And while of obviously that market... Even the Hindi film has, uh, Hindi the version Hindi, has done almost 100 crores. The Hindi version has, you know, crossed 100 crores. So right. that's really incredible and that shows you that if you're able to put out a great concept, and for, for the Hindi audience, no one in the movie was a star, right? Correct, They absolutely. reacted to the concept of the movie as being the star. And that's so inspiring. That actually means that if you're able to put your money where your mouth is mm. and back great stories and back great ideas, regardless of whether you have a star cast, even if it's not the language that is spoken by those people, you know, I mean, it was a dubbed version and everyone knows when they're watching a dubbed movie, it can still do more than a 100 crore business. So that actually means that we need to take bigger bets on things that we believe in. With regards to this center, uh, Sultan and Reis coming together, uh, Salman Khan has said in an interview that uh, maybe uh, we should be having more more theatres and uh, once you have more more screen screen count, so obviously uh, two big films can come together and they can have the similar sort of business. And once the screen counts rises, because that's what has ha happened with, with Bajrangi Bhaijan, the screen counts was the biggest ever. Yeah. Uh, so that will definitely translate into uh, into bigger revenues as well. So how do you... How do you uh, I completely yeah. agree mm. with what Salman says. Mm. The fact is that today we should not be having to be get, get that stressed over the fact that movies of two superstars are releasing on the same day. We are stressed about it and the industry is stressed about it because of the fact fact that there just aren't enough screens to accommodate those movies and to give them the optimum release that they deserve. Mm. And that really is a pity. I mean, in a movie-obsessed country like India, for a film like PK, which is our biggest movie of all time, to be watched by only 3% of the population of the country in that a is cinema true. hall that is, is tragic. And we call ourselves a movie-obsessed nation. Yeah. So I think it's really important for us to be able to get to where China is today, which is the number of screens per million people. In India, we're at 10, 11 screens per million people at the most. I, I think it's more like 8 screens per million people. And in China, you're up in the, you know, 100 to 120 number. So, I mean, we're a very, very underscreened market. In fact, uh, what about piracy? Because piracy is a huge factor that, that contributes to uh, people can sure. go to the theatres, but because of the piracy factor, they can, they can watch it on, on, on their mobile phones and, and that to pirated versions. So, anything that, that the industry can do to just curb that? You know, the industry can do a certain amount, but honestly, it's a drop in the ocean. I, I think when you, you need to do something on a legislative level, something on a legal level, uh, for there to be really tough penalties imposed on anyone who is caught, you know, pirating. I think there also needs to be a penalty on someone who is consuming pirated content. Mm. And till that happens and till the deterrent to piracy right. really becomes so uh, strong that people just think twice before even indulging in it, till then not much will happen. I mean, we can conduct raids here and there. We can, we can, you know, we can do our, uh, we can hire an online anti-piracy vendor at the time of the release of our movies and get really happy that a lot of links are being taken down. But honestly, with the proliferation of the BitTorrent sites today, it's really difficult to be able to control it unless the deterrent is strong. In 2013 and 2014, UTV uh, has been the, the number one production house in terms of uh, box office receipts, India, India box office receipts and even otherwise. Now, 2015, Eros, uh, Eros has been doing, doing exceptionally well. Uh, now, um, in the last five months, what is, what is your game plan to just, 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 uh, just, uh, just recover the entire ground that you guys have. No, we don't look at this as right. a competitive business right. in that sense right. because it's not like we're fighting for market share mm -hmm. here. We're really fighting to put great, great content out there and get into the mind space of the audiences. So I'm really happy with this year so far. We've had the Avengers release earlier this year, which right. did, you know, 80 crores at the domestic box office, which is no joke for a Hollywood film. Mm -hmm. We've had one Hindi release so far, ABCD2, which crossed 100 crores mm -hmm. with a new star cast. Uh, right. When I say new, I'm comparing them to the superstars that, you know, have like sort of dominated the box office in the past. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy with our year so far. We've had Inside Out, which has turned out to be the largest animation movie that we've ever released in this country. So, we don't get too concerned with comparing ourselves with, uh, in terms of market share. Our thing is that if we put out movies that don't work, that's when we get disappointed. If we put out fewer movies and they all work, we're in a pretty good place. Hi, this is Faridun Sharyar. For the most interesting celebrity interviews, do subscribe to 
बॉलीवुड हंगामा कीप ऑन वॉचिंग